What is going on everybody? Hi Designs here, bringing you guys my second tutorial I believe. This one is going to be on a kind of split in half text design that a lot of people are using um, on their 2D backgrounds in the community. So I'm going to show you guys how to make it, well that's how I make them. But anyway, example is uh, like a background I did like this. As you can see right there, the text kind of split in half. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's probably going to look a little better than this one because it's my first attempt at it. But let's get into this. You're going to want to go to File, New, uh, and make whatever set you want. I like my uh, width and height around 1280 by 720. Gives you a good working space to do whatever you want. Um, fill in the back part of your background to black. Just by simply clicking the uh, paint bucket tool and then just click on the screen when you have your layer selected. Next thing you want to do is grab the text um, layer, whatever, and you're going to want to make it whatever font you want. Uh, make the size around 180. And uh, right now I'm using Planet Cosmo a lot. I guarantee you guys have seen this one. But if you haven't, you can go download that on thefont.com for it's free. So go do that if you want and I'm just for this uh, tutorial I'm just gonna make the text hide I don't know why I came out like that hold on just change that to white make it always white first there we go alright let's get into this start off you just wanna have your text like that and you're gonna wanna add a nice simple clean layer style you know nothing over the top it's a nice layer style and we'll one sec, I'm just going to add in a color correction just so I can show you guys like what it'll look like in your background. This is the one I like. Yeah, alright. See, all I have in this is just like a green overlay and stuff like that just to make it a bit darker. It looks a bit better in my opinion. Anyway, that's, that doesn't matter. Just disregard that. I don't even know why I did that. Anyway, so when you have your uh, text selected, you can right click on it, go to blending options and make your own little like layer styles that you want. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to go to pre-made ones I already have. Um, what, are we gonna use? what am I going to use? I'm going to use... I'm going to go with this one. Not that one. This. Yeah, so I'm just going to go with this one. And then once you have... Your layer style is all done. Just right click on the layer and go to rasterize layer style. Just so it makes it so all your layer styles go away. Alright, so once you have your text created, you know your layer styles on, you know, make it a bit darker, whatever you want. Just make it a bit more clean. You're going to want to make a new layer, whoops, right above your text. And you're going to want to go to the pen tool selection, make sure it's on path. And you're just going to make a nice little line right across your text just like so and you're just going on to go around it and kick it back once that is done go to the middle or anywhere inside your path right click and go to fill path make sure the content is on color pick your color and click OK next go on your selection part make sure you have the layer selected that you created the path with and just click backspace on your keyboard Next, what you want to do is going to hold Alt and go in between your paths layer and your text layer, and click. For this to work, you have you have to have this layer rasterized, your text layer rasterized, so there's no layer styles, or it will not do this effect. So once you have this color position to where you like, you want to right-click on that layer and go to Blending Options. Next, click the Stroke and change it to about 4 to 5. I'm going with 5 on this one. Actually, let's try 4.5. Yeah, I like that. 4.5 is what I'm using or not. I guess 4 is what I'm using. And as you can see, it creates a nice little split in half right there on the text. You can always raise it to what you want. You know, 5, 6. I wouldn't go anywhere past 7 though. So next to create a nice little effect on the text is Ray Designs has a tutorial on this but I'm going to show you guys um, because you know just in case you don't watch Ray Designs but anyway once once you have I mean sorry select your paths layer and go to filter distort ripple 
and you're going to want to make this around 70. Just click enter. And as you can see, it makes a nice little rippled effect at the bottom there. It kind of looks like it's ripping a half. I think that looks pretty good right now. And then, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you can join those layers now by hold, holding command or control. And so click both of them and then command or control E to join them, to group them. So as you can see your text is here and like it is all one now looking very clean so far. So next what you're going to do is make another layer above your text layer. So I'm just going to name this text so you guys don't get confused. confused sorry. So then you're going to want to change your color to a black just by simply clicking down there and change it to black. And use your brush tool and you're going to want to pick a nice grunge. Um, I tend to use a lot of the grunges. Um, that I have, I try to use a variety of them, but for this tutorial purpose, I'm just going to use, you know, um, only one, which is this one. And you're just going to click a couple times around the text, and you're going to want to make it a child once, sorry, not a child. Yeah, child, so by also, remember, clicking Alt in between the layers, and when it has the down arrow, you just click. And I'm going to lower that opacity to around 60. You know what, that looks good, probably around 65. Let's go 63. 63 opacity is what looks good to me. You guys can play around with it. This is my personal opinion. Next, you're going to want to create another layer above that one. And you're going to want to go to a nice splatter type brush. So let's see what I have. I have this one. No. Let's see if I can find a good example for you guys. I know this one's a good one. And you're going to want to make this size around 800. And you're going to want to zoom out a bit. So you can like kind of just click around, you know, it just creates this nice effect, something like that. You know, make sure you have a bit on the bottom. I like it more on the top though. See, something like that just creates a nice effect to the text. Also, you're going to want to make that a child by holding Alt in between. Click down, make sure so you have nothing around your text, it's all on your text. And so now you just want to change that also down lower than 60, probably around 40, 45, so it creates that nice effect, I'm going to go 43, and so there you guys go, that's how I make this kind of text effect, and you know, this text effect right here would look great on a banner, um, you know, and that's exactly how I make the split nav text, uh, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, make sure to leave a like on the video, any comments, questions, prices, anything, put in the comments and especially in the comments put what you want to see for your next tutorial my portfolio is always in the description if you want to look at any of my banners and see what uh, you guys want to see next just name the banner if you can't think of the style just say the banner in the comment and I'll go through and I'll see which one and I'll for sure make another tutorial probably within the next week because uh, I want to help you guys out with these new styles and stuff like that that are coming out anyway guys it has been high designs and I'll catch you guys later.